Welcome back to our news uh, on this special edition of 23 ABC. Monoclonal antibody treatments are, are COVID or for COVID are antibodies that are created in a lab that are then infused into the body through an IV. Unlike a vaccine that triggers your body to create antibody against COVID, these are directly transferred into your body, which is why, according to doctors, the body reaction is typically a bit faster. And now this option for treatment is available for infants. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino spoke with a pediatric infectious disease specialist at the Valley Children's Hospital about how it all works. As newborns are still developing their immune system, many face higher risk of developing COVID-19. Most cases are mild, but for those who do develop strong symptoms, this monoclonal antibody treatment brings hope. It's very rare, but when it's your child, it doesn't matter how common it is um, or how rare it is. So we have seen um, very young children and newborns with COVID and some significant illness, but very uncommon. The FDA's director, Patrizia Cavazzoni, said in a statement, children under one year of age who are exposed to the virus that causes COVID-19 may be at particularly high risk for severe COVID-19. And this authorization addresses the medical needs of this vulnerable population, end quote. Before this treatment was approved, the chief medical officer for Mercy Hospitals, Dr. Hamel Cothery, says with no treatment or vaccine approved, it was often a waiting game with newborns or infants who contracted COVID. In the past, what we did is we used to do what's called supportive care. We used to give them oxygen if they needed oxygen. We used to give them fluids if they needed fluids. Now we can do all of that, plus we can give them this treatment as well. So it's just something else we have in our arsenal now. However, even if the child or newborn does contract the virus, not all will be eligible for the treatment. So it's an option for those younger kids uh, who have some risk factors for this disease. So again, not every three-year-old who uh, gets infected with COVID needs this therapy, but a three-year-old who... Um, has a G-tube maybe and um, a tracheostomy, certainly we would want to consider for this therapy. Dr. Karen Dow with the Valley Children's Hospital says this is a post-COVID treatment that can only be used if it is detected early. They cannot use a treatment if the patient is already hospitalized. This is why vaccines are still the best option against COVID. This treatment doesn't um, replace getting vaccinated, right? That's, that's still our focus. They both note this gives an option for those children who, for one reason or another, cannot get vaccinated or have a low immune system and need that extra boost of antibodies. Like the vaccine, this treatment is paid in full by the federal government, but of course, hospital fees do apply. In downtown Bakersfield, Bonnie Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.